Libra moons. Okay, so what's up with Libra moons? Libra moon. It's a really interesting place to have a moon sign. I would feel like this. The need for, if you're okay, dealing with a Libra moon person, you're going to want to know. Even if this is a male, he's probably going to want everything to be fair. Like, okay, if I pay for the dinner one night, you could do it this time. If I pay for the movies one time, you could do it that time. If I wash the dishes this night, you can wash them the next night. If I cook this night, you can cook that night. Or they may want to do things together. Like, let's cook together. But if we go on a date, you pay for the movies, I pay for the dinner. They're going to be diplomatic. So there could be this, you know, way about themselves that's a little suave or, you know, looks like almost as if like, okay, not necessarily look at me like Leo, but, you know, kind of like, hmm, you know, charming and know it. For me, that Venus is also the ruler of Libra. So with Venus there... Um, they really just love love and it's not even, not even love for comfort, but love because of the beauty, because of the way it feels, the way it makes them feel and the fact that they can be fair, they could be in a partnership and provide like that, um, just being there and just being in love. That's why you see a lot of them, um, switch partners because it's not, even, they could fall in love with beauty and call it love and the problem with that is because right when they see the next beautiful thing come along it's easy for them to go in that direction okay um and the fact that they're indecisive you may see them switch partners often or not know if they want to commit or not like is this relationship good for me is this something that i want oh my gosh what about her or what about him am i making the right decision so they could be very indecisive very indecisive but they're gonna try to be fair at the same time and if they cannot be fair they will tend to just not be anything at all they may leave they may run they may not face a problem they may not you know you know what i'm saying not address it head on but ultimately though in um an intimate relationship they want fairness they want diplomacy they want, let, let's say on an intimate level, okay, they're going to want to please you, but just as much as they please you, they're going to want you to please them. And if you cannot deliver, a lot of times they're like, that's not enough for me. Like, I'm going to have to find something that pleases me as well. So, just keep that in mind. Um, they love beautiful things. Like, they're going to want the finer things. They're going to want the nice car. They're going to want a nice home. They're going to want the beautiful partner. They're going to want to be seen. They're going to be a charmer. So if they can't get something out of you or they feel like they can't make you to get, make you to do something, that as a matter of fact, they're not controlling. So they won't try to make you do anything. If anything, they'll try to charm you into doing what they want you to do. And you're like, wait a minute, I didn't want to do that. You know, um, they're very good at verbalizing what they want so they're not going to show up emotionally like with their feelings but they're going to show up with their the ability to conversate their ability to reason their ability to partner so they're going to want to let you know um about you know their likes and their dislikes but then at the same time um they're going to want to know about yours and they're going to do their darnest to make sure that your likes and your dislikes are taken care of as much as possible because they're going to want to please you because they're, they're a, a partner. And a lot of times, Libra moons can lose themselves in partnerships because the need to want to blend with someone else. They could. So it's very important to them that they find somebody that they're compatible with or that because they're indecisive too, that kind of goes along with what, how should I say it? The fact that they, like, let's say you, as a Libra moon, have something in common with someone else, right? Because you're indecisive, you're not going to know what decisions to make a lot of times. You're going to leave it on the other person. And, but because of the fact that you're still going to want to do what you want to do, you're going to want to like what you want to like, it's important that you find a partner that's compatible. So nine times out of ten, they're going to pick the stuff that you like anyways. Um, but you're very fair very reasonable it could be a little passive aggressive you know you might not always the, Lib the libra moon partner might not always say what they want necessarily they may do it or get it through manipulation and why is this 
because they do not want you to know necessarily that they're going against what you're saying. They want to feel like, oh my gosh, this partnership is all fair and beautiful and we just vibe like that and we just get along. And I'm not saying that overall they cannot speak up for themselves or nothing like that. Nah, I'm saying that they do have this passive aggressive tendency about themselves. They do love beauty. They do love art. They do love you know, beautiful women, beautiful men, but that's not all that they love. They just like beauty. Okay. So the Libra moon partner, you know, they're going to be dependable. They're going to be, um, indecisive. They're going to be fair. Okay. And, um, communicative. All right. And thank you as always, you lovely, lovely people. And until next time, you charmers.